My next guest slammed BLM as a scam whose house of cards may be falling. Joining me now is Indiana Attorney Attorney General Rod Rakita. Uh, Todd Rakita, excuse me. Um, Attorney General Rakita, uh, you actually have some news to break on this front tonight. Explain. Well, we're starting an investigation. Uh, we're going to find out if uh, this Black Lives Matter organization, which in, in Indiana we previously defined legally as a as a political organization, so there's First Amendment implications there uh, if you're teaching Black Lives Matter material in school and other things. But now, uh, seeing that this House of Cards is is, is coming down, we want to know if Black Lives Matter has solicited funds in Indiana. Uh, from Indiana residents, if they have any real property here, uh, because that all uh, would invoke uh, our ability uh, under our nonprofit uh, laws uh, to see if they're being wasteful, to see what their expense ratios are, to see if they're a scam, not unlike the one we unraveled last week, where we found um, you know someone s selling overly valued silver coins to the elderly. I mean, at some point, what's the difference here? A scam's a scam. We're going to find out. We're going to go where the facts lead us, of course. And if they don't lead us anywhere, we're going to stop. Uh, but we suspect this is, in fact, a house of cards. Yeah, no, this is this is a huge amount of money that was raised. Now, last month, the L.A. Times profiled BLM co-founder Patrice Cullors and her split from BLM, she said that yeah. when the larger construct that you invested in abandons you, where do you go? I think that what I'm really trying to fi figure out right now, um, she's trying to figure out where she's going to go. Now, this woman walked away from running a charity with enough cash uh, that reportedly, some say, to buy four homes and then called criticism of this white supremacy. She said she never got a salary from Black Lives Matter, some money before 2019, but uh, not, you know, enough to buy multi-million dollar homes. So she vehemently denied that. But nevertheless, when you have really, uh, I think, upwards of $100 million in total raised by a hashtag, I mean, doesn't the government have a, a duty to find out where that money went and how it was spent, if it's tax exempt <laughs> especially? Absolutely, and again, it's another thing that's falling to the states, and so be it. We're gonna we're gonna pick up this mantle, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. You know, some of me, Laura says, you know what? A lot of this money is from woke corporations. You know, they get what they deserve. But even those woke corporations have shareholders like me and you, and, and regular people, and, and and pension funds, and they got to be focused on making a return for us, and not this social gobbledygook that leads us nowhere. And then what about the Hoosier who uh, who who, says, who sees Black Lives Matter is like, oh yeah, I want to be supportive of that. I'm for equality, like we all are, and gives them ten dollars, gives them five dollars, gives them whatever. Uh, they are they are scamming that person if in fact that's where this goes. That's a great point. And so. And so we're gonna we're gonna get to the bottom of it one way or the other. And hey, you know, listen, I'm not saying I agree with the the California Attorney General on yeah. on a lot of things, but they he gets credit. They get credit for at least uh, because Black Lives Matter matters domiciled in California, looking into this as well. And I think other states need to look into it as well. So we are. Yeah. The, just so people understand this, they're saying that if they don't turn over these records in California, they're gonna hold the leaders of this organization. Personally liable, and it's yeah. sixty million dollars. <laughs> you know, where's where's the money? Yeah, and these facts could lead possibly to a criminal referral. So uh, th there's that as well. Yeah. All right, Attorney General Todd Rakita, thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.